How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today I'm on my main account. I have just unlocked Flavius and I'm actually going to expertise him. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of him in Garrison, but if there is opportunity to, I will jump into Garrison with a Flavius CPO combo. I'm going to expertise him. I'm going to get him to level 60. I'm going to put gear on him, armaments on him. I'm going to go over the talent tree that I've kind of taken and made into my own slash gotten people's opinions on alliance chat but let's get through the intro and let's expertise flavius and here we go okay first things first let's summon him easy enough got him from mge i think i was rank 11 or something like that i'm not buying these bundles right now I just don't find it worth it. I have a lot of universal legendary sculptures. Obviously, the more the better, but I don't feel like spending money on 10. I'll get 10 from Kerouac or, uh, man, I don't know, just even daily logging in with VIP 17. I get three a day. So I could spend $6.99 plus tax on it, or I could just leave it. And I'm just going to leave it. I need to get the dig event back again because I've got a lot of hammers to use. But let's go in and first we'll start up the commander. I have a lot of experience tomes. I have a lot of commanders. How many do I have? I need to unlock four to have unlocked all of them. But let's get him up. God, I don't even know which ones. Which experience tomes to use, but let's get him up there. Let's see if we can do the star trick. Why not? We're here. We might as well try it. My apologies for the hair. It's Saturday night. I don't feel like doing it. Um, oh no, hopefully it doesn't crit. Oh, of course it did. Of course. Oh well. We don't need to do the star trick because we can just level them up all the way up to 60. Let's use some thousands, some 100s. Let's just max them up. We'll use some of these. I don't know. I have so many that I don't think it matters which stars I use. I might as well just use all of them and get it over with quickly. Because I don't plan on leveling another commander to level 60 anytime soon. We'll see what the next commanders for infantry look like. I won't be doing the new cavalry commanders. They look great. But I don't have the cavalry gear or really interest in doing cavalry. I like archers and infantry. And I've stuck that way for a very long time. But you never know. Joan and Nevsky obviously would have been nice to do. But I just never got on board with it. I didn't want to do the equipment. And I just, I'm not a fan of controlling those marches when you have infantry and archer in a murder ball because the cab always get in the front and I'm just not a huge fan. I like having the same kind of march speed and infantry and archers have pretty comparable march speed. Okay, I well, got him up to level 50 here. Let's finish him off. This should be pretty quick because we're using some of these uh, bedazzled and uh, bundles, I believe they're called. Let's just pop some more into them. We won't use all of them because it looks like I'm running low on some of those. But we'll just go like that. And we should be very close. One more. And then we'll just go to what we need to finish them off. That was probably a waste. Could have done one more, but that's okay. And let's see if that does it. Are we going to get it? No, one more. There we go. All finished. So we got a level 60. Uh, well, not level 60, level 50, but 6 star. Let's get them all the way up to level 60. Okay, let's do, now that he's obviously way up top. Well, not really. <laughs> he's next to City Keeper. He's going to be a little bit stronger than that. But let's go into the talent tree. Now, I did ask in Alliance chat, like I do a lot of the times. Uh, any new commanders, any questions? I like to bounce, obviously, off ideas with whales who have these commanders, who have experience with them already. Some of the talent trees I saw I wasn't a huge fan of. They had feral nature. I don't think that's really required, especially in Season of Conquest, where once you're in Heroic Anthem, people just end up swarming. So I don't think this is needed. You're going to cap your rage all the time. But what I did see was one that I liked, and I kind of... I looked at all of them, and then I went in and did my own thing, reading the talents trying to understand what was going to work best. Obviously, impregnable just makes sense. You're leading a garrison of a stronghold. All skill damage taken is reduced by 15. I kind of just went through everything and made it make sense to me. 
and how I understand rage works. I went to rejuvenate. I got all three skills up there. I did go to clarity and I unlocked it. Now I'll leave that for a second. I'm going to go and get undying fury because that is a must. I'm going to get hold the line because I really like that talent. You're going to have infantry. If it's a Flavia CPO and you have anything in there other than infantry, your report's not going to be good. Now, we've got seven talents left. I finished strong of body because it's 6% health. That's huge for lowering severely wounded. I obviously went in and I finished clarity. And then I had two talent points and I wasn't exactly sure where to put them. But it makes sense to put them in Iron Spear. You're going to see a lot of cavalry rallies and... This should be three, and maybe it should be that I take one out of strong a body and put it into Iron Spear. Something I might do if I notice that I'm having a lot of uh, cavalry rallies, then I will switch to three out of three on Iron Spear. But there may be archer rallies, there may be cavalry, or obviously cavalry, um, archer and then infantry rallies. So don't know which one's best yet, but this is the talent tree I'm going with. That's what I'll try out if I get the opportunity to be in garrison. I will try that out. It should be good. I think this is exactly how I would build it. The only option would be switching Iron Spear with Strong of Body. But that's one talent point. It's not going to make a giant difference. But when you're talking about long rallies, if I am garrison on them, it could make a big difference. Now, gear. I have a lot of really good gear. Most of it is infantry. I'm going to save this in my loadout. I'm not going to keep it on him. If I'm doing field fighting, it'll go back on to Guan or CPO or whoever has it. But I am going to have the loadout saved so that I can quickly switch to it when I need to. I'm going to choose everything that has special talent because I have a full special talent infantry setup. They all have iconic crystals in them. It is very strong. This is a very strong set. I don't know what would be stronger. Maybe if I had, you know, Helm of the Conqueror, specialized with an Iconic Crystal, yeah, it'll be better. And do I get a set bonus? Well, I already have part of a set bonus, so I get the plus three defense. So, really, it's almost comparable to having that set piece, or I guess it is. What are we at here? We're at, we're at 11 plus three and a half. If we were with the other one, 15, and if it was special, okay, obviously it's going to be better. But we don't have it. Now... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to craft on this video as well. Because Horn of Fury, as I talked to in Alliance chat as well, just bouncing ideas off of other whales, Horn of Fury doesn't make a lot of sense, just like Feral Nature does in the talent tree. The Horn doesn't either because you're going to get swarmed. So if you're going to get swarmed, and I've had this blueprint, not going to get that obviously. I've had this blueprint for quite some time. I just wasn't sure if I was going to craft it, but I wanted to unlock it. It's Vengeance. I have enough to craft it. I'm going to craft it. If we get a special talent, I will be very excited because I also have an Iconic Crystal. And this would make the set very strong. If it doesn't specialize, that's okay. It's still plus 8 to counterattack damage, which is going to be huge if you're getting swarmed. If it has the extra Iconic Crystal in there, there's plus three to troop base health. If it gets specialized, it's even better. So I'm going to craft it. I already have 10 legendary uh, accessories. So I'm kind of putting one on the shelf by doing this because I don't usually have six marches in open field fighting when I do open field fighting, which I haven't done a lot of lately, which is why I'm getting into garrison. But let's see if we can get lucky. It's not going to happen. I haven't gotten luck with I, like I crafted 10 and I have one so I, I'm due for one it would be great if I got a special talent and I didn't oh that's the worst the worst oh I hate that part but okay let's go in and finish off where is Flavia sitting is he still way down with all that gear and everything why is he here oh because we haven't obviously expertise him Oh my, losing my marbles here. Okay, let's equip this first. Let's add the Iconic Crystal, because I've been saving it for this exact reason. There we go. This is as good as my Flavius is going to get in terms of gear. Maybe in the future, if 
I don't know, specialization on these accessories gets easier or I'm done everything else and I start specializing legendary uh, Season of Conquest accessories. We'll see. I highly doubt that's going to happen. But let's expertise them now because that obviously is the next step here. This is kind of painfully slow. I'm not going to bother locking the first skill. Obviously, if you don't have enough legendary commander sculptures, you'll want to lock the first skill first. It's 99% of the time the only skill you want to five before you move on but there are exceptions for legendary gathering commanders I typically on my free to play I will go over it once I get enough sculptures for them but I will typically skip the first skill because it's not gathering related and the whole point of legendary gathering commanders is gathering they have no other purpose the ranged attack clearly hasn't worked. I rarely see it in open field. <laughs> and when it is there, it's kind of just like, I don't know, bait. Everybody's like, okay, let's go swarm that because it's going to take a while for him to dismantle and you're going to get a huge amount of severely wounded. You get good trades on it. Okay, we're almost done. We've got 160 left. I still have a lot of sculptures left. I know the next infantry commanders are coming. By the time they're here, I'll probably have enough for two legendary commanders again, at least one. So, boom, we got his expertise. This is the first garrison commander I have expertise since, I believe, Constantine. I think that was the last legendary, and I still use him. Honestly, an open field with Mulan as a secondary because I have her expertise. Um, it helps a lot with your other marches. It's it's strong, and people ignore Constantine quite a bit. He's pretty slow, so he is in the back. So it's uh, you know the last march to usually hit, but it is fun to use. And I typically have Horn of Fury on him, but clearly I've been switching that up. I like to play around with the gear. But okay, let's do armaments now. This is right here. Obviously, we're going to do Wedge. Now, I don't think there's anything better. Maybe reduce all troop damage taken by 2% if you have great armaments for it, but I'm going to be doing a lot of skill damage, and I have a very good set that I have in mind for this. That's not the best piece, obviously. I would like to put a inscription into it, but I just haven't gotten there yet. Hopefully soon though, where is, I'm still using this one, but it is very strong. I've got wielders troop deals 1.5 extra counterattack damage. That's going to help. And then let's grab this one, equip. So this is my best formation gear. No, I don't know, formation armaments. That's obviously what I needed to call it. Great amount of stats. Uh, what is that easy math? That's another one on there. So 10, 16, so 26 to stats. I'm getting evasive, which is 2.5 to counterattack damage. Desperado, which is the wheeler's troops take two less damage when it has under 50 units remaining. That will help. Hopefully you don't have under 50% units remaining. I don't know if they fix that yet, whether that's based off of the garrison's troop amount or if it's the total flag amount or how it works mechanically wise how I, don't, I haven't been keeping up with that so i'm not sure how good this is but i think it will help and then the wheel is troops deal oh counterattack down we got a lot of okay that's less counterattack damage and that's extra counterattack damage so pretty good set i actually have a better set on my other t5 account which also just unlocked flavius i'm going to expertise him as well and use him as garrison in that season of conquest that i have coming up very soon we just finished marauders we're in troop training right now i'll have a video on that i don't have enough universal legendary commander sculptures just yet i will have enough before we have war in that season of conquest so i'm gonna be i'm fully going into garrison mode whether or not i can do it with my crystal tech it's not great but i don't think it's terrible i'm just finishing skillful operation as much as i can right now because it's crystal cost less it'll save me in time i've just unlocked this stuff so i'm going to get as far as i can i'm trying to get to improve morale before we get into it because that's really going to help because whales at this stage we're going through level seven passes have surprise strike already whether it's maxed or not 
it's going to hurt a lot. So I don't know if I have good enough crystal tech to be a garrison player at this point. I might have to wait until the next season of Conquest through the first passes and maybe spend some more, a little bit more money on the next season of Conquest. I've only unlocked this, the crystal quest. Absolutely fantastic for the amount of crystals you get for it. And then I only got the supply, or where is it? The premium season crystal supply. I haven't been spending a lot of money on the game, but I did get that because I wanted extra season coins. I've only gotten this right now, and that was for crafting. I've been thinking about getting this for the 10% increased defense because the best city skin I have right now for Garrison, unfortunately with infantry, is honestly going to be the gingerbread house, which is kind of sad, but the health is very important. I'm going to keep my civilization as France. I think that is a no-brainer eh, special unit. It's probably just best if I go like this. Uh, no, that's not the best way of doing it. What's the best way of comparing? So you can't do it on here to see what you got, but you can go in here and go, no, this way and here. So we've got base health up to 227. That's the great thing about France is I think you get 10 to stats or 11 to stats, base stats on health points with the elite throwing axemen, and that's going to help. I think this civilization is the best choice. I could be wrong. If you think I'm wrong, leave a message below and let me know what you think it should be. Maybe Viking, counterattack damage by 3%, infantry attack. Maybe it does switch it up a bit so I don't get as much health. I'll drop five base health points, but I will increase four defense. Is it worth it? I don't think so. But maybe. I don't think it would be Ottoman. No active skill damage plus 5%. That's maybe, maybe good. Honestly, not sure. I'm going to have to see what people say and read into it and watch some videos. I haven't gotten there yet. But right now... This is what my commander looks like. He's got a lot of defense, which is why the health is probably best. And this is someone I talked to in Alliance chat is gingerbread is probably better than having the 10 to defense because I already have so much defense. So the plus five to health is likely more beneficial and not worth the 650,000 coins for Season of Conquest coins. Likely not worth it. But I think this is it. I think this will be good. I think, uh, how does it look if I just hit a barb? Let's just look at the report here. If I go Flavius and CPO, let's just see. I'm not going to put any special skills on them. I just want to see the report because in a report like this, you can see all of the stats, including the iconic crystals that are inside here. You can see those base stats go up. I think this is honestly the best. I wish I had this with infantry the ring of doom but it's also really good with archers because ZL is fantastic for skill damage okay we're almost done obviously he's not going to be killing barbs very quickly it's not his role but hopefully in garrison this guy has some oomph I think he will I wouldn't mind something a little bit better let's save this in here uh, cancel. Let's go load out one. Just by garrison. Confirm. Use. Oh, yeah, whatever. I, commander must be. But isn't it already equipped? I think it's already equipped. I don't know what it's talking about. It's a little bizarre. Okay, we got the report. Let's see what it looks like. Go into troop buffs. So, expertise. No support skills. So we've got 212.4 infantry attack. We've got a crazy amount of defense at 184.4. The infantry health is low. It's 85.7. Do I think it's worth switching out to the infantry shield for health? No, because I'm losing the Iconic Crystal. I have it specialized. It's a huge amount of attack. I think it's better to have that shield on. And I think I get the set bonus from it. How much set bonus do I get for this? I get four piece set bonus, don't I? I don't get six. That's not true. Uh, yeah, just four. March speed doesn't matter. So we get troop defense plus 
I don't think it's worth switching. This is a lot of infantry attack. 26% and infantry base attack plus 4. That's pretty big. But let's go back into that report quickly and go to troop buffs. So we've got low health, which is why the gingerbread house is probably my best bet. We've got a lot on the base stats. We got all damage plus 18%. Skill damage up. We got normal attack reduction. Damage to barbarians doesn't matter. Counterattack damage plus 21.5%. I think it could be good. I think this could be fun. If nothing else, I have myself, for the first time in a long time, a good city garrison. Yeah, I don't have all infantry, but I think this, where, oh yeah, I think, it's weird how you have to take him off as a secondary. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think they need to fix that, but that's, for the first time, I think really good. Uh, I can't save that because she's not in my city. Oh, well, she's out right now in uh, Ancient Runes, so I'll have to switch that. So I have it. Not taking any city rallies right away. I don't know how it will do because I have mixed troops. But it can't be too bad in my city. I've got a lot of infantry, so I don't know. It would probably do pretty good. Wouldn't be terrible. It's nice to have another garrison commander for a very, very long time. I'm sure I can get use out of Flavius now or at some point in the near future. But I think that's it. You know what? Let's... I'm going to do this now. I'm going... Why do I keep clicking the wrong thing? Go into here. This window's still weird for me. We're going to add Flavius onto here. Because that is definitely the best one. And I'm going to add some more health. CPO. These act like skills. So it is for the primary and secondary commander. So this does work. I am going to get plus two to health and one to defense. It's minimal. But... Every stat helps on this. When I am in garrison, I will have a march out at a holy site where there is a plus 10 to health. You have to have that rune all the time if you're doing garrison. I just spent a bunch of gems during more than gems for more 24-hour enhanced defense. You will have this popped. I'll likely have an army expansion to have as many troops in there as possible. Or basic army is pretty good if you're just doing garrison. Because you, you just really need your garrison in there, but the more troops you have, the longer it lasts. So I'll probably end up using this until I run out of T5 infantry troops to use. But okay, we'll do this. We'll have a rune. Really not a whole much. You want to make sure you have War Frenzy on as much as possible because you, you, know, you might be joining rallies. You might not be. You might be just focusing on this garrison. But you want to make sure you have War Frenzy. Is there anything else you want to have i don't think so i think that's it i got the city skin i'd have war frenzy i've got it in the commander page i've got everything on him i have what i think is a good talent tree for garrison maybe i'll change it midway through maybe i won't we'll see what happens maybe i won't have a chance to use it we'll find out but i think this is i think this is strong if i had better crystal tech it would be even stronger if nothing else, I'm sure I can use it for the next season of Conquest KVK. I'm just glad I chose a commander, and now I will be able to save up for the next ones. Which, I'll, with the next infantry set, there'll probably only be one that I want. So, I'll be able to expertise him right away, or her, and then I'll be able to save again. Not too worried about it. I have a lot of commanders that I can use. I can have a lot of fun in open field. There's no shortage of variation that I can have out in open field. So that's good, but I wanted to fix some garrison. Now, if all of a sudden somebody releases a video or tells me that, you know, I should have Flavius as primary and then put in, and I always forget his name, Heraculus as secondary, and it'd be super OP, I'll expertise him. I have no problems doing that. Or I don't think Zenobia is worth it these days, but you never know. We'll see how these new rally commanders work. We're going to find out very soon. I don't think I'm going to be able to record during the next war. I don't have any more days to take off on my new job. So I'll just have to play as I can. But I definitely will be able to set aside time to do garrison. But okay, what are we at for time here? 24 minutes. Holy moly. Again, apologies for the hair. This isn't about my free-to-play account, so if you stick around, I will have a video on that soon. I'm likely migrating my free-to-play account, not for any reason of, of any issues with the kingdom I'm in, but I think jumping to an, 
earlier continent will give me another head start on kvk and allow me to have more troops i'll also be able to fog again get more caves even though they're low level they will add up i'll be able to get the kingdom maps which will convert to five minute speed ups it'd be pretty beneficial to migrate to an earlier kingdom but i'm feeling it out and i'm trying to see where the best place is to go so until next time you guys thank you for watching have a good one i hope you're enjoying your weekend it's a long weekend here in canada or at least in british columbia so until next time have a good one hopefully i'll record tomorrow or the next day we'll see have a good one guys later